Welcome back to the Gun Collective. My name is John Patton. I have got Mr. Pewview. Nick is with me. We're, we're actually on his range today, boys and girls. Can you see that? Can you see the trick shot glory that's about to happen? <laughs> Nick has agreed to let me film him with yeah. a high-speed camera. Should be interesting. You got a lot of cool equipment. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to try to show what's really happening with these trick shots. I want to know, is it legit? He says, he swears. Could be CGI. Could. <laughs> <laughs> these, these silos are actually a render farm. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we're, we're going to have some fun. Uh, hopefully, I may learn something today, and oh, you guys are going to come along. Oh, yeah. You're getting a bull flip done today. We're going to do it. You heard that. You heard that. Let's do it. That'll, that'll work. Right Go there. with the easiest one first. This is, is this. So explain to the camera what you're doing. Uh, so basically, if you ride off the rail and just do like one over bolt flip into it, it's a little bit easier than just throwing it up in the air or kicking it off the boot or something crazy to look cool on camera. All of which you've done. Yeah, but this one is usually <laughs> the easiest, but normally I run it off a flashlight. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see it. Ready? Yes, sir. CGI. CGI. <laughs> See, you got a 50-50 shot, and about 90% of the time it goes in backwards. You just got to keep trying. This yeah. is very entertaining, even not on the internet. Like, when, when you're standing in front of me and you're not on my phone, yeah. this is still just as entertaining. Crazy, right. right? So, because we are about to do some high speed, I am trying to do a whole bunch. I got to hold the reflector. I got to man the camera. And Nick's got to look pretty over there. And the battle wagon has to be good. And Brooke's back there somewhere, I think in the truck. So we're just going to cut straight to some slow-mo and see if you can. You think you can do it? We'll find out. Be good. How good are you with that CGI? Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll use the render farm. We're going to find out. We're going to find out how good he really is. Vertex makes some of the best EDC bags and gear around. Whether you're looking for a backpack, a messenger bag, or maybe something for your pup. They've got features like a rapid access weapon compartment, padded backing, a hot pull tab for quick access to the main compartment, and much, much more. Oh, and did I mention their jeans make my legs look better? <laughs> Seriously, I can do so many high kicks in these. And if you use our code TGC at checkout, you'll get 20% off of anything you order. Go do it. So we're gonna watch the first one that we actually got. His hand is moving ultra slow. Here we go. What's really, you're holding that cartridge like vertically almost the whole movement. Now. Yeah. Like that's really consistent. It's just staying on my finger, that's pretty neat. And look at your eyes. You can see, you can see that you're watching. You've got eyes on that thing the whole time. That is an incredible camera. Great CGI, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna ride that train. That's what's gonna be, that's today. And what's really, look at your other hand. Your, the gun hand is already moving to accept the round. Right, here it comes. Went out of frame, clearly CGI. And now your hand's moving. Your eye's on the round, but your hand is moving. I gotta wait for the spin, the bullet to be facing the right direction to stop the pistol. So what you're doing, I think, is you're pacing that. You're matching the pace of that projectile to catch it properly. Yep. And bing on the steel. What do you, have you ever gotten a chance to analyze an entire shot quite no, like I that? No, that's incredible. And the brass is just floating there. Fantastic recoil control, though. <laughs> that thing didn't move. What, so what is that gun? That is like a hybrid you told me earlier. Yeah, just kind of a Frankenstein Glock build. It's just a shadow system's lower, Zev slide, and then the radiant afterburner for a barrel and compensator. So we, we saw that you're, already, you're like analyzing as that projectile is moving around. What do you want to learn about yourself now? Do you want to do a flip? Do you want to do another bullet throw? What do you think? 
I think I should do something aerial because I'm kind of curious. I, I don't really register how I'm leading my projectile coming down. I want to see how I'm doing that personally with a, like a slug rather than a shotgun. So here's how we're going to film that one. We're going to do it from two different angles. You're going to have to do this twice. I'm going to put one where the camera is watching you and the firearm. And then we're going to do one over your shoulder where you can see the round going downrange. Perfect. Here we go. Let's do it. So this time I am just going to try and film Nick flipping this thing around so we can get a little bit more analytical about what's really happening here. Nick, when you're ready, do it. So what we're doing this time is we're going to do an aerial shot. Well, Nick is, and I am going to, for the sake of time, toss the can down range. He's going to flip this here Ranger Point modified Marlin and uh, we're just gonna see how it goes. We're gonna try to show it in high speed. Got a nice side-on shot. I guess I gotta get a can of soda, right? Probably need that. Just a little close-up, just so people don't think we're using some uh, like snake shot or something. It's a 4570. Is that an FTX? Yeah, this is the reason the dinosaurs went extinct. <laughs> All right, so throw it at that, give it a little something. Tell me when you're ready. Call pull. It'll be fun that Go way. Ahead. Holy. That was awesome. Okay, so we've moved the camera. We've got the over the shoulder angle. Brooke has jumped in. Hey guys. To throw the can down range. We're gonna try to do this fancy schmancy and get that flip and the can all in one shot. So let's see the can you just shot. Told you, man, that's why the dinosaurs are extinct. 4570 right there. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Fantastic. Feel good? good? Shot, huh? You feel very American, right? Oh, yeah. I always do. This <laughs> You're standing in front of a grain like bin, it. soy feel. Yeah. <laughs> very fitting to have a lever gun in Iowa. Right, right. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Good. That was a good throw. That was good. good. That was beautiful. Thank you. What's the plan here? Gonna see how bad the spoiling is off a of 4570. So the idea is to take those soda cans, put them in the splash zone, and uh, see if they'll explode. I, I suspect they will. What do you think? I think they'll all just blow out completely. All right. Oh. So we're gonna take this Ranger Point with questionable reliability, thanks to Marlin, and I'm gonna shoot that steel target. There are soda cans at the bottom of the target. We're gonna see what the spalling looks like. Again, this is uh, 4570 with the FTX from Hornady. Here we go. I don't think any of them popped. Oh, really? I don't think any of them popped. Let's go look. Let's go look. Let's see what happened. I don't know if it like pushed it back too far or what. What? So I w I'm almost wondering if it like leans, if it doesn't spall until here and the spalling's actually back here. Now that I'm paying attention, this is the only not rusty part of the stand, so. So we need to set that stuff towards the rear. Let's do it again. All right, so we've got another round in the chamber. Gonna try again. We move the soda cans to the rear. We'll see how it goes. There we like go. It. Got them that time. All right, let's see what kind of damage we did. It's really not even that bad. What? One of them got it, like, kind of. I could still drink that. 
I, <laughs> oh. You won't. Did we did we put a tiny little hole? A little so this is just us not knowing where the spalling is going, but uh, that's interesting. I mean, there's giant chunks of lead from 4570, so I don't think it's spalling all that much. I think for the most part. It's so you think the projectile's staying together? Let's see what that. Did show me that again. Good lord. It's a pretty big piece. Yeah, that's substantial. So this is where things get interesting. I have a little bit of a challenge set forth. Nick says, hey, do you want to try and shoot a can out of the air with a 9 mil? Pew view training. <laughs> <laughs> you charge extra for this. <laughs> so I've got this uh, Franken gun that he was shooting earlier. We've got a loaded up mag and some soda. And we're just going to try it. I'm just going to, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. I, I don't know that I'm that good, but we're going to find out together. So, so, so they can know it's not only challenging to hit something flying out of the air. The most challenging part is waiting until you got berm in the background to be able to pull the trigger. So you got about a two foot window. Right. That's what's making this difficult. And and guys, for your information, because maybe uh, some of you have not seen what Nick does, there is nothing for miles in any direction, this especially the direction we're shooting. <laughs> right. Just so, flat nothingness in Iowa. And we try to keep it safe and shoot into the berm. However, it's still safe beyond that anyway. Correct. Okay, so what do I need to do? What do I need to do first? So uh, you shot Guns a trap, hot. clay pigeon, right? Yeah, lots uh, of them. Basically the same lead, so just follow it. Stay right below the can until you get berm in the background. Just squeeze one off. Hope for the best. It's 50% luck, honestly. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to start at full extension, and then we're just going to try and track it. Perfect. On you. Pull. Good. You got a split second to think about it, don't you? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's pretty difficult. It's just right there. You ready? Pull! Go a little bit lower. I see weeds in the background and go a little bit high. Okay. Ready? Pull. <laughs> so what, what I'm struggling with, what's, what's really challenging for me, is maintaining the dot. Oh, yeah and moving the gun because i can do it with a shotgun all day right right but this is this is a lot more challenging to keep that that yeah mm. so i feel like half of my comment section is people giving me crap saying try it without a red dot it is twice as challenging to do it with a red dot versus iron sights yeah i mean you're literally instead of a a two plane sight system you're using exactly. a single plane that's way that's no, difficult <laughs> this is it's difficult all right so i've got the dot send it Oh, you're getting so close with him. I told you, it's 50% luck. Okay. I lost the dot. That's on me. <laughs> okay. Pull. Let me get you. <laughs> I am missing it at that distance. <laughs> Ready? Pull. Dude. This is not happening. This it's is hard, so. Is this it? is tough. Like, guys, wow. How many cans do we have left? Uh, three. So we have three cans. I have three chances to get this right. We'll see. We got her. All right, here we go. Hang on. I'm going to keep this one a little bit closer. Ready? Pull. <laughs> Dude, I'm losing. Every time I start moving, I lose the dot. Ready? Nope, way behind it's, it. It's difficult, eh? All right, this one's it. Uh, all right, <laughs> this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. All right, here, here. I'm just going to stay straight, and you just throw it right into the berm in that dead spot. You ready? Yep. Three, two. Nope. <laughs> all right, let me empty this onto the... Nope. I'll survive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish him off for you. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. We gotta bring in the expert. Since I was terrible, <laughs> I was I had a I had a hard time with that. We collected up the survivors over yonder, and Nick's gonna give it a shot. You said you've never tried an aerial trick shot with this particular setup. Nope. Well, let's see how you do. <laughs> I'll miss the first three and make you look good. Right? All right, here we go. Nice Pepsi on the side of my hand, slipping all over. Ready? Send it. Nope. You just know. You're kidding me, right?
This is embarrassing. <laughs> Hey, I'm counting that. That was badass. <laughs> Did you shoot through that's the can no, into? I, I missed the can and hit the steel. It's well, that's a win. Something. Yeah, that's a win. You ain't getting away. <laughs> Hi. This thing is pretty warm. Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's warm out here. Well, guys, I was terrible. Nick did amazing today. Thank you so much. Thanks for that CGI. <laughs> the CGI. <laughs> so where can people find you on the interwebs that have miraculously not seen your stuff yet? It is uh, PewView on YouTube and PewView on Instagram. And we will make sure that there are links in the description. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me on the, uh, the property. <laughs> And guys, make sure you leave a comment down below with your favorite trick shot that you saw today. What was the coolest thing? Let us know down in the comments. Go make sure you get subscribed to Nick's channel. Also, shout out, thank you, Brooke, for helping out all day, holding down the fort. She's in the background waving at you guys. <laughs> make sure you leave a comment, leave a like, get subscribed. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.